Welcome back to 843 TV. We're coming uh, to you from Low Country Montessori School here in Beaufort. Um, so uh, I do have two uh, small children and um, they're, you know, we're looking at schools and there are a variety of options right. in our area. It's, uh, I'm flooded with options <laughs> it's a good thing. Um, and, and opinions, you know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, so if I wanted, if I chose this school and, and I wanted my kids to attend Low Country Montessori School, how would I go about learning more about how to enroll and, or apply, or how, to, how okay. do we do that? Um, we are a school of choice, which is a great thing. I think more choice, the better. Um, and basically what you would need to do is go online uh, to our website, lowcountrymontessori.com, and um, there's a place where you can download an application, or you can come to the office, uh, fill out an application, hand it in. We will be accepting um, applications for this year up until uh, the 135th day of our, <laughs> um, and, and so basically what happens is there there is some turnover here sure. and there. We do have um, a decent wait list, but what I would suggest is if you are wanting to get in this year, go ahead and send that in as fast as possible. And then it just, you know, as people move, um, we're a military town, so we do sure. have movement during the year. That changes some, and if there, a seat becomes available, then that child would... So there's still the time for the fall 2015, mm -hmm. spring 2016 academic mm -hmm. year. If you yes. want to, if you're looking for, you know, it's, it's time yeah. to go back to school. <laughs> and if you're looking for a place, this is a great place, a great option for you. Yeah. And let's just clarify, uh, as again for the viewers, that there is no fee for the grade schools. It, it's free. For kindergarten through 10th grade, it's free. The three and four year old program is fee based. Okay, right. That's that's a, a yeah. great option to <laughs> it's, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's quite yeah. an advantage, absolutely. Yes. Well, what's fascinating about it is that Maria Montessori did intend for it to be free education, but over the course of a hundred years or so, it's turned into a private, more of a private school institution where um, it costs hundreds of dollars, sometimes thousands, to send your your kids to school. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so this is free, and so you're getting the best education for free. Mm -hmm. Well, and one thing I'd like to add to that too is that people are catching on because what we're seeing is now brain science is backing up what we've known mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. years, you know, as Montessorians, <laughs> and, um, but we're, we're being able to look at MRIs and, and see the connections that are being made because of the manipulatism, because of the, the, the way t children are taught. Um, and so it's catching on in yeah. the world of education. You're mm -hmm. seeing a lot more free options. Um, you know, there's the Charleston and in, in the mm -hmm. public schools, there's magnet programs that are popping out and popping up. And um, my thing is the more the better. Right. Because if we can serve more children with this type of um, education, I think the world will be a better place. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, just the kind of the approach that you're talking about lends itself to you know, continued mentorship through after you're done with education, you know, um, and kind of you're following your passion and following the child. It's following the adult, you know, do what you like. Right. Um, and we'd all be a little happier, right? Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Um, so now we've got a, um, a fundraiser coming up mm -hmm. this fall. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Um, this will be our mm -hmm. third annual Artscape uh, Buford, and it is November 13th, 14th, and 15th. Um, it's a pop-up gallery, pop-up art gallery, and it's a lot of fun. There's, um, on that Friday night, there's a soiree, so it's um, when you have the first opportunity to go and buy the art. And what's great about it is because Buford is such an artsy community, um, <laughs> but we pull artists from um, Charleston, Savannah, Greenville, um, Atlanta. Columbia. We have people from uh, California. At, I yeah, last Atlanta. Year. If they could ship their art, we you know, mm -hmm. um, we get them to come, and they it, the, it's a benefit to artists too. So if you're an artist out there and you're interested in um, checking out the event also, and you want to have some of your art in it, then um, you could go to our website. And basically what it does is 40% of the proceeds go to Low Country Montessori, 60% go to, back to the artist. So it's a win-win. Um, and there's no fee for the artist. They don't even have to be here. Yeah. So it's, it's really nice. But it's been a great fundraiser for us, a lot of fun. Um, and I've gotten some really cool art. <laughs> Anyone could come and be involved in that. Yeah. The, the soiree is a purchased event. And then Saturday and Sunday, um, it's a gallery. So they can come in and, and it'll be located um, right above Lulu's. I'm, I'm spacing on the... Is that the Old the, Bay Marketplace? Yes, rooftop? thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, the Old Bay Marketplace. So. And that's a really cool location. It is. Yeah. And the mm -hmm. Sunday is a family fun day, too. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, and so that's uh, that's in November, right? Mm -hmm. November thirteenth, fourteenth, and fifteenth. Is there anything else on the horizon for this uh, 
next academic school year that we can look forward to from Lakota We have a lot of great things going on. Um, we have... Uh, the Peace Project is pretty cool. So you might see a lot of kids of all different ages doing some pretty cool things around town to bring a, a smile to somebody, mm -hmm. um, to help out animals at the animal shelter, um, picking up a lot of litter along the beach. Mm -hmm. um, there's tons of different ideas that they come up with. And, and then towards the end of the year, that's when we end up having, you know, it's kind of like a peace project fair. <laughs> and we, you know, they present what they did. Um, we also have International Night. Mm -hmm. International Night's a lot of fun. And each classroom chooses a continent or a country that they want to work on. We have food, dances, singing, whatever the classroom chooses. And that's a lot of fun too. Well, Amy, Miranda, Sarah, thank you very much for joining us today. Uh, and thank you for watching 843 TV. Where communities come to speak.